First thing I'm gonna do is just stop and drop, like, I don't know, a lot of this. Just Last time we wandered through this massively ridiculous, long, annoying, and really confusing cave only because of the fact that I wanted to try to figure out how to get back to the top of the mountain in, <laughs> in the new area in Sundered Pass, and we managed to find our way to the next area, which is the airfield. Hello everybody, this is Frogman, welcome back to the Long Dark and our Tales from the Far Territory adventures. Astrid has uh, uh, somehow arrived at the location that we need to be in order for us to be able to continue the story. Now, uh, I think what we're gonna do, given the fact that I don't know whether we need an Aurora or not, there should be an Aurora going on out here right now. We're going to go ahead and head towards the bunker. The bunker is literally just like right around the corner over here. We are, if I recall correctly, right, right here. If I recall correctly, we're right here. Uh, all we need to do is go around the corner over to this area because I could have sworn we mapped that area, but whatever. Let's just see what we can't do about getting someplace. Uh, probably need to eat something first, and then we'll see what we can do about maybe continuing this story on to see whatever else they may have us go do. So we have a, if I recall correctly, a Polaroid that told us we needed to go back to the bunker here, and I know for a fact where we should be, so... We just have to safely wander our way back this direction. And I'm like, literally, I think the bunker's like right here. So, um, what we'll do after we get this sorted out, or at least figured out, is uh, I do want to go back over to the observatory. And then I do want to kind of maybe work our way back up that mountain on the other side of uh, Sunder Pass, above the lake where we were, you know, having fun with those timber wolves. Uh, just to see if there's anything else really cool up on top of that mountain. I know that there is a bear. We know we saw the bear. Uh, I'm interested to see if that area produces a moose. That would be, uh, it'd be an excellent area if it produced a moose. I think we can go, I don't remember. I've done this. It's been a while since we've done this. But essentially, all we got to do is just kind of hug this wall. And I think it's behind this rock. It's behind one of these rocks right over here, but anyhow. We'll just kind of keep walking over here since we have a nice Aurora to play with and see what we get. Actually, I think it's that rock right there, isn't it? It's been a long time. Touch pretty lights. Airfield looks good. Everything's over there nice and lit up. Oh crap, we're out of torches. Well, uh, we may have to stop making torch then. I think we just need to go, I think it's right behind that rock right there. Oh, look at the pink. Wow. Yeah, we should be right around over here. This is a corner we didn't get mapped. There's a, a cabin over there and a couple of things. And I know that we were kind of in a hurry and all that goodness. What we see. I think you'll be just fine, my dear. Especially once we get over here, there'll be a nice bed. Wow, that's pretty. Wow, it's really getting on it tonight. Very cool. All right, let's give a little bit of a shove here up this hill. Yeah, we just go up and around the corner over here, I think. Hopefully the wolf is not here. Is 
And this might be, for all I know, a uh, a scripted Aurora as well, given the fact that we did that when we did that. Uh, I want one of those. Oh, that's that's usually the sound of the Aurora dying. That music right there. And there will be a wolf probably right here. Or two. Come on. All right, good. Breakfast. How are we doing on torch? Ooh, I want make more torch. One second. Okay, let's see. I think it's right behind this rock. Unless they moved it. Nope, there it is. Ah, we don't even want any more sticks. We're good. We'll get in here. We'll do the things and stuff. So... Well, let's get inside, and then we can look at the Polaroid. I could eat a horse. It's in luck, so the horses you didn't put your torch down. You're taking it with you. I was going to say. Bunker Omega. All right, so you... First thing I'm going to do is just stop and drop, like, I don't know, a lot of this. Just drop all of that just so we can kind of walk around reasonably quickly. Those won't be too terribly hard to pick up. All right. All right. Get me the button to look at the stuff. So that should be what? Here. And Polaroid select. Here. Examine. Double back and recheck the big bunker. The hidden room. Hmm. Uh, I think it's probably going to be over there, but I don't know. Let me see. I don't think we left anything majorly important laying around in here. Except for a pot. Uh, which I don't really need, but, you know, pots are good to, for later on usage. Uh, I don't think we left anything. That room. Me a torch just so we can see what we're doing. I know the lights are on and everything, but can't touch that, can't touch this. Cardboard box. There's a lever on that and a lever up there. Oh, let me guess. Piece of plywood or something. Oh. That's interesting. New objective. Discover Rüdiger's true fate. Heads of chips, beautiful. Oh, no, nope, that one right there. Oh, that's great. Another skeleton. Search hidden cache. Green flare, beautiful. Well, here, eat those. I 
trying to keep a fire lit for no reason other than the fact that we could. What do we have, gentlemen? That's not great. Security Chief's ID badge. Foreman's technical log. I guess we'll read Rudiger's Diary 3 first. Just waiting now. Trapped in squalor. Brought low by my ambition. Still, I believed I was right. I am right. If we are to move forward as a species, we will need better models for understanding our planet and its potential for creative destruction. Errors when it wipes the slate clean and starts again. I wanted to profit from this knowledge. Probabilistically, my chances were good. A dice roll, yes, but the numbers suggested a favorable one. Based on my current condition, I overestimated my chances. Wow. What were you studying? I mean, seriously, what could you possibly do? Like some kind of seismic activity or something like that to be able to try to maybe use the... I don't know. Let's read the foreman's log. Just enough. I could see he'd already had a bad time of it out there. Uh, can't even keep these pages straight. Gonna rest a bit and then see how far I can get. <laughs> With whatever's left of me. But maybe I shouldn't make it. Wow! Oh, starving. Now there goes our torch. Huh. So, he shot him. Because they got into a fight. A uh, gold watch. There's text on it. By great force. Well, it doesn't weigh anything. Oh! We got it. 
Let's see, what else is here? Security cheap IDs, or ID badge. Oh yeah, I remember you. Let's go, I guess we, we what do we got here? Piece of decorated corporate head scratch by use traded with time. We take it. And we're done. Is that it? Whoop, wrong button. Uh, okay. Well, they gave me another Polaroid. Me and the chief on the final day, I saw something in her eyes. Did she know? Uh, probably. Why would she point me back at the mine? Super creepy. All right, um... Huh. I, 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 okay, I, I don't know what else we're supposed to do. I guess we'll pick up our stuff here, and I might go outside, go make us a little bit of food. What is this? It's just a thing that's not there. Um, make us a little bit of food. I don't know what we're going to do at this point. I have managed to waste a few things. We should have this whole building taken care of. Maybe we need to go do a little bit of shopping and around the airfield. I know that there's a few places that we could probably go at least pick up some necessary supplies. Um, just want to make sure we got everything. I'll put you to bed here in a second, Astrid. Don't see anything else. Not sleeping in there. We'll go over here to where the bunk room is. I'm pretty sure we took everything out of everything in here. Books, stuff. Sure, yeah. I think we'll just go in here. We'll take her, get her a nap real quick. And... Then we'll see what we can do in the morning. Where is the bed? Hello, Teddy. One of these has a bed you can reach, right? Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Uh, I swear to God, I went to bed and it should have been the next day. So we must have a wonderful fog outside right now. That is amazing. Let's go back in that room real quick now that we have the light again and make sure that we didn't miss anything. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Well, I do know what we're going to do. We're going to work our way back toward, probably go back through the uh, cave and go to the top of the mountain, maybe. I don't know yet. So I just want to make sure. How am I getting insomnia in this building? I'm underground, guys. Unless I'm too close to it right here. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, I'm sorry, Rudiger. You have a... Oh, he did shoot him. Wow. That's, uh, that's saying something. I wonder how far he made it. We may end up having to deal with that eventually. So, everything is clear in here. And, yeah, I guess we can go... Ooh, that was a box. I, that was a cardboard box. Ah, oh, we did miss some stuff. And there's some things. Okay, I was wondering. Let's check this stuff out real quick. Yeah, you must be just close to the roof, or maybe it's because you're close to his equipment right there? I don't know. Weird. Ammo cabinet. Nothing. Okay, well, cool. We made sure. I just wanted to make sure I had everything picked up in here so that we could move on. Now, um, biggest problem once again, insomnia, which means no easy way to do the work outside. We won't have a clear sky to light a fire, but that's fine. I was just gonna say, there's a couple of 
couple of wolves out there that were so generously kind enough to come say hi to us that we probably should go chop them up at least since we do have a fog fogs usually mean no um wind we'll go see if nothing else we can chop them up and take them over to the little cabin that's just over here a little bit Oh, I think you're fine. Well, the wind's not blowing. Let's go see if we can get a fire started over here and cut a wolf or two up. So the cabin should be over there. Right. Were either of you worth eating? Wow. Yes. Uh, is that going to be close enough I can actually do something? Sorry, here goes another match. Alright, let's see if we are close enough. I'm on fire. I am, just barely. Good deal. Got done cooking all of that stuff up, or at least cooking most of those wolves up. We've got a little bit of food and a little bit of water and a couple of other things. I'm going to go back over to the cabin over here because I think we might have left a few things over here. At least maybe a couple of, I don't know, a sapling or two. i got to kind of look. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do now, now that we know. Uh, I believe we have completed the tale completely, given that we got both of the badges. Well, we picked up all the stuff, so you needed to pick up the watch. I assume, and the badge to get the two new feats that we get to play with, and then I assume once we got the uh, the Polaroid or whatever it was, whichever one that said on, you know, we unlocked Last Horizon, we're done. So we've got this portion of the uh, the story or the the tale completed, and we have two new feats of which I probably won't ever use either. But well, we'll see how it goes once we get to that point. So. Let's go check out this cabin, because I know we've been here a time or two. I've played many different players, characters, since we started this, and I'm wondering if I did get the thing that should be right here. So yeah, there's still old rotten wolf meat from the last time we were here and did this, and did I pick up everything in here? I wonder if I can drop any of this I here. did not, so we have cured pelts, and grab me a new torch so I can see. All right, so there should just be a pelt, a couple of guts, and okay, yeah, I did get it. Um, what's in here? Old, torn up, tired thing. Cool, okay, it's just been a really, really, really long time and I wanted to make sure that we hadn't forgotten anything. Oh good, I did leave myself some water. Wonderful. Okay, well, we need to uh, pass time and get her to where it's the next day, and then I will go do other things. I don't know, maybe I should just take this torch and keep walking. Let me uh, let me do a little bit of looking around here. How much water do we have? I take that, and I drink one of these teas. Can I get back to the cave? Ooh. We had shame water. Ow. That was shame water. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that explains that one. Let's see. Well, they're still barely hot. Well, I think, given what we have and the fact that she's got a reasonably decent eyeball, I'm going to dump all of that here... I'm going to drop a good number of this here, 
And we're going to go back, since I have a few torches, we're going to go back to the cave. I'm going to take some food with us. And I'm going to leave that right here. I'm going to go back to the cave, and we're going to try to get to someplace we haven't been to yet in that cave. Uh, and then go from there. Because I, I wasted a match to make this torch, and I don't like wasting matches to make this torch. I should say make that fire. So I will probably just uh, fast track this here. There it is. We're going to pop in here. And keep walking. And I want to pick up a few of these. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take them all. All right. Onwards. How have you all we now? Perfect. So... What we're going to do is we're just going to walk all the way back down through this, following our torches all the way back to the for well, Forsaken Airfield, back to the Sundered Pass region. Now that I know where I am, this is the interconnecting cave, so one, one fork of this should point towards the contaminated zone, which I'm assuming is going to be up here once we get a little ways, and then the other direction is going to be towards the uh, uh, Sundered Pass region. So somewhere in this area, I, I'm assuming it's that last bridge we just walked over. So there you go there. And then we go around this corner there. This actually probably isn't that bad once you learn it. But yeah, I think, like I know there's a bunch of circles that direction. I about got myself lost here. Um, yeah, just throw that one down right there. I, I wish you wouldn't do that when I pick you up. That's weird. Thank you. And then I want a new torch. That's weird. Why is it doing that? No, don't throw it on the... Pick it up! Okay. You go... That way. Go. Yeah, if I remember correctly, somewhere around out in here. I'm not really worried about it. I, I figure they they were kind and did a kind of a three-way interchange again. I don't really care. I don't need to go find the contaminated zone. I need to go back to Sunder Pass, do a little bit more exploration, because we didn't catch up on the one little cabin that we saw on top of the hill that was behind some timber wolves and a bear and, well, there's that upper section of the map that I'm betting is probably pretty barren, but Again, I'd like to see if there isn't any more animals in that area. It's Aside from the fact that it's got timber wolves all over the place, uh, I'm very impressed with the bottom section because it's a, it's a fairly livable zone, aside from the you know three-day blizzards you get. So we're going to get our way back over here. See, I was doing real good. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Well, I have a feeling... I don't know if we can go this way real quick. Let me go take a look. Because this, this looks like similar asset usage. Like they use the same kind of an idea. And I'm wondering now, like I said, I think the... I think... Yeah, it's that way. So contaminated zone is that way. So they did make an honest to god like like Y interchange right here, triangle interchange. So yeah, we go over the bridge. So this wasn't here. Neat. Okay, cool. I know where we're at. Well at least I know where I'm at now. So we'll just go ahead and walk out of here.
Alrighty, I think we'll end it right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue on in the next episode. We're going to go on up the mountain like we kind of said. I know the music's kind of loud, but uh, she's got enough rest in her now, and it's kind of the middle of the day, so it should be reasonably okay to travel. So I will see you all in the next one. We're going to do a little bit more exploration, I think, around Sundered Pass, and then we're probably going to make a really, really, really long trek back to a house that's full of food that I left a long, long, long time ago in an episode or two. So we'll see you all later. Thank you so much for watching.